Right, hi, are you okay? Right then, so we're on the rectangles now. Same idea, I can do it in rectangles. Now this is where integration actually comes from. But what I do is I have an infinite number of infinitely thin rectangles. So it just builds it up as like a block. But all it's doing is working out the area where the width of the rectangle is dx and the height of the rectangle is the y value. But I have an infinite number of infinite uh, rectangles. That's the idea behind it. So as you say, what's the value of, data, of delta x? So same idea, h is b minus a over n. So h is b is 2. A is 1, because I'm doing an integral between 1 and 2 for whatever it is. And I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, triple, uh, 8 rectangles. So I've got 2 over 8, so it must, 2 minus 1 over 8, so it's an 8. So the width of each of these rectangles is 1 over 8. And stick it in my calculator, can't I? Because I've got that equation. I know h is 8, so let me do that. So if I do my menu and table, and then delete that out, and what am I going with here? So x cubed, let me just stick this formula in. So I've stuck the formula in. So my set it, my a value is 1, because that's where I'm starting. My b value is 2, because that's where I'm ending. That's the limits of my integral. And the step, the h value, is 1 over 8. There. So I've got all my values there. So I've got 1. I've got 1.0488. I've got 2 1.2031. 1 1.4746. I'm just checking if there's any truncation errors. 1.875. 2.416. 3 3.1094. Look at that. 1094. We have to be careful with that one. And then 3.96, oh, I see that being 8 as well, wouldn't it? So these truncation errors in the completed path. So it should be a 4 and an 8 there. Right, so let me copy from the completed pack. So 1, 1 1.0488, 1 1.2031, 1 1.4746, 1.875, 2.416, 3.1094 with the correct rounding as opposed to truncating and 3.9668 as well. So all it is is just the sum of all the heights because it's like the first rectangle is an eighth times by one. The second rectangle is an eighth times by 1.0488. So if I add them all up, it will just be 1 8 multiplied by all of these. Yeah, right. So Adam's just come now to do his monitoring. Uh, so let me pause that. Right, so 2.416, 3.1094, 3 3.9668 gives me a total of roughly 2.0117. Now, if I do it properly, it says be more accurate. So if I integrate it from 1 to 2 of my equation, which was x cubed minus 3x plus 3 dx, it gives me 9 over 4, which is 2.25. So it's pretty accurate, really, if you compare it. More, more rectangles, more accurate. Trapezium's better, though, to be fair. Uh, right, so there's a question for you to have a go at. I just need to finish off my monitoring. Uh, there. there we go. Right, I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.